get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Hill, the iPhone TV, in association with Matt from Stingmar Bay. With me, I've got WBO European champion Tom Stalker. We're at the media workouts today for Annette Golovkin and Kelbrook. Also, Charlie Edwards, Jim and teammate on, on, on the card. How are you firstly, Tom? Yeah, fantastic, Jay. Um, got here last night. It's nice to, nice to be here. Feel the atmosphere. And uh, obviously, just be here to support Charlie on becoming world champion on Saturday night. Talk a little bit about yourself. I want to come on to that. We've seen, obviously, yourself first Craig Evans 7 has been announced. Yeah. Quite low odds on the draw as well. Yeah, uh, 16 to 1 for um, the draw, which screws like 40, 50 to 1s aren't here for the draw. No, the fair fight, yeah, they, um, they got on, on to my team a few weeks ago about the fight. Me and my manager, uh, my trainer Dan, we, we sat down, uh, we all fancied the fight. It's a fight I don't really need because I'm the WBO we European champion, but it's a fight that the fans want to see and it'll be a, another good fight. So, um, looking forward to it. Um, and been training hard. Got a week over in London this week, sparring out here, so everything, everything's going well. Let's talk a little bit about this fight. I know you've been looking coming on to take on Kelbrook. Massive, massive opportunity for Kelbrook to really become one of the elite, elite fighters in the world. What chances do you give Kelbrook coming into this? I've got to be honest, I don't give him a chance. In the sense of like, he's going up a couple of weight divisions. Golovkin's an exceptional fighter, I think he's part of our best in the world. But Kelbrook's got nothing to lose. If he, if he does if he does lose, he can come back down, fight calm, what have you. Uh, and he's getting a good payday, um, uh, best payday of his, of his life. So he can't lose in the fight, but I just think once they get in the ring and Golovkin does land on him, he'll, he'll be thinking, you know, you know, you know, like. But listen, I hope Kelby pulls it off and wins uh, another another um, great fight from, from England, and um, I just think it's a big ask. Eddie says he won't be far away from his normal how he would go in the ring when he fights at 147 when he's rehydrating the stuff. Do you, do you think it will make a big difference in there on the night? When I spoke, I spoke to Eddie about that. Then he says he's going to be getting in the same weight as what he makes at his last week. But I'm just thinking. I think obviously it's important that you go down a week. He hasn't got to do the 48 hours of, of, of not eating and all that, which he'll be stronger for, but he's fighting a bigger man. So the, even though he's got the advantage of that, Golovkin's got the, the advantage of being a bigger man. So he'll get in the ring and he'll be bigger and heavier and stronger. So I, I, I just I, I hope he does something and, and it, he gives him a good fight, but I can't see it. How do you nullify someone like Golovkin? Is a case of how do you outbox him? Do you think Kelbrook's going to turn it into a street fight? What tactics, if you was in charge of Kelbrook's sort of tactics into this fight, what, what would you what would you do, Tom? Hit him with a bat. Get your mate to bring, bring a gun down. <laughs> Kill him. Mess him. Nah, you know what? He's that like, he, what's going to happen in the fight? Golovkin's very good, another fight in the space. So, he'll think he's out of range and Golovkin will be there. So, it's how he's going. He's got to start to keep it long, but I think it's going to be hard. I think if Glogan wants to finish it, he can finish it at any time. I hope I'm wrong, I hope that Calvary does really well and wins, but I just can't, I can't see it. I think everyone in Britain thinks the same, so if he does win, he's going to shock the world, he's going to shock the whole of, whole of Britain. Charlie Edwards challenging Casemiro for the flyweight world title. Big opportunity for him. I know you've been around him in the camp. You've seen how focused he sort of is. How, how confident are you that Charlie can bring that world title back to the MGM? One million percent confident. You know what? I've been with him. He's done a, a, a ten-week camp for the fight seven weeks ago um, in Berlin, and then he's carried the training on. He's the fittest lad I've ever trained with, and I've said that about a few people I've been in the gym with. His work ethic, his game plan he's got with him and Danny. Every, and every box being sick. Look, I've said, if he doesn't win the fight on Saturday night, it's, you look done everything right. You can't do anything more than what, than what that kid's done. But I'm 100% confident that he's going to win. And like, the bookies, I think he's far to four, isn't he, on the bookies. So I think it's, for me, it's, it's buying money. He's going he's gonna to come out victorious. I think Casemiro is going to underestimate him a little bit. He's going to... Um, He's going to think he's going to look like he's fighting a boy, but when he gets in there and 
it's definitely going to be a different story. I think he's going to break Casemiro's heart and I hope I him right. Can't wait for a great contest. Look forward to the build up this week. It's exciting. I'm excited. I know Tom's excited. And uh, we'll catch you again soon. Thanks for your time, Tom. Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.